Christmas memories. Hey you guys, welcome back. Welcome to another vlog. I just sat down. I'm sitting here watching some YouTube as usual, but there was a couple of packages on my porch, so I just sat down to open them. And I said, you know what? You guys might like to open these packages with me. So let's go ahead and get it cracking together, okay? This package here is from Dossier. Dossier. I did order a few. Um, of course, my girls was talking about um, some scents by my girls, specifically Lily. Lily Living Life. <laughs> And so I picked up a couple that she was drooling over, I believe. And then I was also looking for a couple more because my husband has actually really been loving trying out new scents and stuff. So I believe I got a couple of scents for him too. So I have, looks like I bought six, six dossier because they were having a sale. It was like 40% off, I think. Don't quote me. But I think it was like 40% off during their little Black Friday sale or whatever. So that's why I grabbed so many. Because I mean, 40% off, come on now. Okay. So anyways, let's open these up and take a whiff. And I'm going to have to try and guess. Let me get my phone. I'm going to have to try and guess which ones um, I got for my husband. Because I don't think it says on the little card if it's his hers or unisex so but if you're not familiar with dossier they um make fragrances inspired by the more expensive higher end perfumes and colognes and stuff so um this will look like it got a little beat up <laughs> but all of their colognes and perfumes come packaged like this in this cute little box and so, you know, they range, I think, from like $29 to $49. And they kind of like dupe fragrances that are like, you know, hundreds of dollars and stuff. So anyways, this first one here is Musky Oak Moss. I'm assuming this is one of the ones that I got for my husband. So that's what the bottle looks like if you're not familiar with them. Um, it says here, top notes, apple, pineapple, and bergamot. Middle notes, rose, birch leaf, and patchouli. Base notes, musk, oak moss, and amber. Uh, concentration, 15%. So, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be smelling like perfume in here today, honey. Oh, yeah, definitely masculine. Mmm. Oh, that's not... Child. Oh, that smell good. Oh, he gonna like that. Musky oak moss, you guys. Oh, yeah, he gonna like that one for sure, for sure. So that one is for hubby. Um, And I always, I keep all of my little cards, you know, that have the notes and stuff on them. Just so that, because their bottling, their packaging is very straightforward, very, um you know just very plain and basic and it also tells you what it's inspired by almost forgot that so this one is inspired by creed um adventist eau de parfum so if you like creed from adventist eau de parfum or if you like adventist eau de parfum from creed then try this out because it's inspired by that and oh that smells so good <laughs> But I keep all my cards just so that I can just look through my drawer and see what it's supposed to be. I'm all over the place right now, you guys. Oh, that smells so good. Child, that's one of them, you know, if you're single and a man walk by smelling like that, you're going to be like, <laughs> this smells so good. Oh, that smells good. Okay, so this next one is citrus green apple now this one was one that i wanted to try out because i typically don't really like apple scents um when it comes to perfume and fragrances and stuff but i'm like you know what let me just try it out you know it's an affordable uh 
price tag. So it says top notes, green apple, lime, and cedrat, whatever that is. Uh, middle notes, blue ball, jasmine, and rose. <laughs> There's a note called blue ball, y'all. What? The... Anyway, base notes, amber, cedarwood, and musk. So this is inspired by Dolce & Gabbana, light blue for women, eau de toilette. Okay. I can't, y'all, I can't get that smell out from that musky oak moss. Oh, that smells so good. Okay. <sighs> Let me smell this citrus green apple. It smells just like citrusy green apple. Um, yeah, but it doesn't stink though. It doesn't stink. And that's huge because for me, like I said, I usually don't really care for green apples. It's very citrusy though very citrusy um so and it's it's not super light either it is very very fragrant so this is something i would definitely wear more like in the spring and summertime like you know in something like light and airy a sundress some shorts and a little flowery tank top some sandals um just me personally that's what it smells like it smells good though so i'm i'm very glad about that because i was concerned about not liking that green apple so that one i got for me what is this this one is fruity honey another one i got for me so this one says the top notes are uh black currant green leaves it's got this top stuck in here okay so, top notes, black currant, green leaves, middle notes, honey, nectarine, base notes, peach, and vivitier. Inspired by Joe Malone, nectarine, blossom, and honey cologne. So, this is inspired by a Joe Malone fragrance. And these scents, they do, you know, they linger. I still smell that citrus green apple. And I still smell that musky oak moss. Both of them, they smell kind of good mixed together, <laughs> actually. So, fruity honey. Oh, that's very soft. Very soft, very light. It does smell fruity. Hmm. Yeah, this is just a nice, soft, everyday type of scent. I like this a lot, actually. Yeah, this is something I put on just to walk around the house in. It smells very nice, very everyday. Um, I think that peach, the peach is what I really like about it because I like peach, um, the nectarine, green leaves too. Mm, yeah, very everyday. I like that a lot. I can get down with that. Okay, so what else do we have here? This next one is Woody Coriander. Uh, this must be for my husband. You know, like those Woody scents and stuff I typically would get for him. Um, yeah, so Woody Coriander. Top notes, coriander, green apple, and grapefruit. Middle notes, cardamom, orange blossom, and basil. Base notes, amber woods, tobacco, and cedar wood. Okay, so let me try and get some of this, some of these scents out of here, out of my nose. But it's smelling good in here though. It really is. I'm glad that last one was a lighter one. So, woody coriander. This is for hubby. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, that smells good. Oh, it's kind of sweet. I smell that cedar wood. Mmm. Oh, yeah. This is really nice. This is really nice. A nice, like, date night, you know, steakhouse. I mean, but this... Mmm. Yeah. This is nice. This is, like, classy, like, suit and tie. Mmm, I like it. <laughs> I 
I like this, y'all. Oh, wait, hold up. Mmm, yeah, it has a little bit of sweetness to it. Coriander, green apple, has the cardamom, orange blossom, amber woods, tobacco, cedar. I think mm, that tobacco and cedar wood, oh, this smells good. Yeah, I made some good choices for him. He gonna like those. But that woody coriander, yes, okay. Oh, that smells good. Okay, so these last two must be for me. Fruity almond, okay, fruity almond. This, oh, you know what? I didn't even tell y'all. That one, the woody coriander, it's inspired by Dolce & Gabbana, the one for men. So that one, the last one, is inspired by the one for men. Did I tell you what the fruity honey was inspired by? It's inspired by Joe Malone, Nectarine, Blossom, and Honey Cologne. Y'all, I don't even, I'm like, did I tell y'all? Yeah, Okay. So, ciao. That woody coriander. Yeah, Dolce & Gabbana, the one. Mmm. Whoo, that's the one, honey. It smells good. Okay. So, fruity almond. <laughs> Top note, almond and peach. Middle note, orris, orange blossom, and tuberose. Base notes, tonka bean, vanilla, and cocoa. Okay, so this is one of those with the tonka bean and the vanilla. This one is inspired by Carolina Herrera, Good Girl. I hear a lot about that uh, Good Girl, so let's see what we got going on. Let me try and clear my space a little bit. That's why I did this kind of like in the open area of the house, honey. Okay, Fruity Almond. It's nice. It's nice. Um, it's it's definitely a very specific scent for me as far as when I would decide to wear this. Um, but it smells really good. It does. It smells really, really good. Um, ooh, yeah. The cocoa, I definitely smell the cocoa and the vanilla. I haven't really been able to figure out what I'm smelling when something has the tonka bean in it, like what that tonka bean smells like, you know, mixed with other scents. But I definitely smell the vanilla, the cocoa, um, and the almond. I don't know about the peach. Mm, it does. It smells good. It smells very, very good. Um, it doesn't just you know, make me all tingly all over, but it does smell good. Oh, my nose. Oops. Yeah, I definitely smell that vanilla in there and the cocoa for sure. So that's Fruity Almond. Good girl. Carolina Herrera, good girl. Okay, and then this last one here is Floriental Marshmallow. This is the one that I've been most excited to smell because child, I'm so tired of people talking about this um, Killian Love Don't Be Shy scent. I am like seriously dying to smell this because people be talking about that scent all the time. So I'm going to try and see what this smell like, okay? Oh, there's so many scents in here, but it smell good though. It smell good. Okay, Floriental Marshmallow. <sighs> Top notes, Marshmallow, Neroli, and Bergamot. Middle notes, Orange Blossom, Honeysuckle, Jasmine, and Oris. Base notes, Amber, Vanilla, and Musk. So yeah, this is inspired by Killian. Don't be shy. Is that Killian? Oh, that's nice. Okay. That's nice. It's different. Yeah, it's very different. I don't think I have anything in my collection that smells like this. Marshmallow, Neroli, and Bergamot. Definitely smell the marshmallow and the Neroli. The orange blossom for sure. Mmm. 
Maybe that jasmine. I'm going to put a little bit of this on so I can see if later on I can get that, am that amber. Slight vanilla and musk. Yeah, that, you know what? That's, yeah. I smell a good portion of these notes. All of them. I do. I smell a good portion of all of these notes. Ooh, that smells good. It does. I can see why people like it. It is very unique. Very, very unique. Mmm, it's nice, feminine. But it's not soft. It's not soft. It's, it's beautiful. Mmm, I like that. Floriental Marshmallow, okay. Yeah, I like that. I can see why people like that. It is unique. It's unique. I can't think of anything where I'm like, oh, I smelled that before. It's, that one is unique. Okay, so let me move on to some of this other stuff and try and let some of this fragrance clear out of here, okay? Okay, you guys, so next I have here something from Pat McGrath. I think I ordered two things from her. Um... And this is only one. The other one was not shipped at the same time. Don't know why, but I know one thing, I better get it. So anyway, it's very small. I believe this, yeah, this is a highlighter that I ordered. So that's what the packaging looks like. This one is Skin Fetish Sublime Skin Highlighter. Her highlighter is just... They look so gorgeous, you know, online, the pictures and all that stuff. Beautiful designs. Oh, look, pretty, pretty. So gold packaging, Pat McGrath. And then, oh yeah, this one is gorgeous. This is the one that I've been seeing on Instagram so much. And I'm just like, I want it, I want it, I want it. So that is it. Am I going to swatch her? Nope. <laughs> so, yeah. Got that highlighter. Very pretty. I'm definitely going to use it. I'm just not in the mood to swatch it right now. It's too pretty. Y'all, I truly do be ordering stuff. Like, if I see something I really, really want, I'll order it and then just forget all about it. Because the shipping be taking so long nowadays. It's like, you don't have no choice. You'd be sitting there staring out the window every day but oh this is it's got to be a fragrance because i got one of these free uh plush throw oh oh she feels so soft she feels so soft i love when ulta has these you know free giveaways when you buy a fragrance child it's like you can choose the throw or usually like a robe or something like that but I got the little throw. I think I actually got two of them because I believe I bought two fragrances. That's probably what's in that other box. So let me see what I got. Oh, this, cha. I've been trying to order this from the um, Juvia's website, but it had been sold out for the longest. And then I go on Ulta and it's like, um, you know, it's right there on the Ulta website. Not only is it on the Ulta website, it's on sale. I was like, child, I'm sitting here on the email waiting list for this palette to come back. And then, and it's right there on the Ulta website available and for sale. But anyways, this is the Juvia's I Live, I Love Ice palette. I wasn't sure if I was going to get this one, but... I really, really was like, I want that palette. It's just stuck, stuck in my head. So I'm like, I must really, really want it. So this is really cute though. Packaging is really pretty. And in this set, it comes with a loose ice, loose highlighter, which I didn't necessarily want, but that's just how this comes. So now my fragrance is not in this box. So I know one thing, it better be in that other box. I know that. I know that. So anyway, I'm going to have to clean up later. 
but my two samples oh no these aren't samples oh my gosh i forgot i ordered these they had the kvd locket powder foundation the one that i have recently fallen in love with on sale okay they had these on sale was it like half price almost if it wasn't half price but i didn't even know that they sold refills for that okay so honey with them refills being half price i went ahead and just bought me a couple it's it's cheaper than buying the whole repurchasing the whole compact but they were on sale for half price so i went ahead and got you know got me a couple of refills for my kvd foundation powder honey because it's like i'm like are they discontinuing it or what um but anyway so i got me two of these to just throw in a drawer because i'm running through that mug like it ain't nobody's business so anyway let me show you this palette right quick and let you see what it looks like in person okay so palette looks just like the packaging and then this is what the shades look like so it definitely just says ice <laughs> you know iced out holiday beautiful palette different kind of lighter shades of blue and i don't know i was just drawn to it you know drawn to it it only has these two mattes in here this is a matte and then this is a matte so it would definitely be a lighter blue eye look the shimmers are gorgeous though i think this one here that one looks like a glitter this one here looks like a glitter and then that's a shimmer and a shimmer and a shim shimmer so anyways yeah i can definitely do a really pretty eye look with this really pretty i wanted to have that i don't have anything in my collection that looks like that so let me open up this highlighter right quick like i said i didn't really you know i wasn't really tripping off of the highlighter it's just the regular juvia's loose powder packaging and then that is the shade on the highlighter so it looks really pretty i only read only way i will know if it worked for me is if i put it on you guys know so it looks pretty though it really does so anyway that is that so i got two foundation refills a palette and a highlighter let me see what's in this other ulta box since they want to ship out my free throws but not my fragrance why they shipping out these big old boxes for these throws yep so this is the other throw that i have this one is like the kind of tan shade very nice very very nice i love just having these around the house throwing them on my chairs on my couches whatever super duper soft okay oh <laughs> Honey, I stocked up. They had a uh, buy two, get one free <clears throat> on the concealer. If you guys watch me, then you know I use the same concealer for my dark circles and hyperpigmentation. Say it with me, Essence Camouflage Concealer. <laughs> so, yeah, if you guys watch any of my makeup videos, then you know that's how your girl gets down. So, yeah, I use the Essence Camouflage Concealer. This one is in the shade Dark Mocha 80. I got six of them because, like I said, it was buy two, get one free, and I needed to stock up. I am, like, on my absolute last one, and I use these every time I do my makeup for my dark circles and, you know, all this darkness around my mouth, honey. Clear it right on up. So, anyway stocked up on those and then okay so here goes my scent i obviously i bought another scent that better be on its way because i got two throws so obviously um one of my scents is missing but this scent is here so this one is the jimmy chew fever jimmy chew fever and it looks like i bought a set okay what is this yeah maybe there's a travel size in here or something uh, 
and I couldn't tell you what made me buy this. I must have saw somebody with it. Arnell, she recently did um, a video talking about like some of her favorite perfumes and stuff. So this is what it looks like. And child, when I saw that bottle and you know, her description was just like, ooh, yeah. Yeah, I need to try that. So let me take this out so I can smell it. Okay, so this is what the bottle looks like in case you wanna see it outside of that. That is really pretty. And so yeah, I got this cute little sample size. So let me check it out. Mmm, smells nice. Smells real nice. Um, it smells familiar. But I know I don't have this. I wonder if I have tried this in a sample because it does smell familiar. Let me look up these notes for y'all. You know what's funny? Is it smells a little bit older. <laughs> it's, it smells a little bit older. A little, a little old woman-ish. <laughs> for my liking uh, let's see what does it say um a hot floral fragrance a bit sweet with a dark background top notes black plum lychee grapefruit the heart is says heliotrope and the base is benzoin sandalwood and tonka bean whatever that is it smells nice Definitely smells nice. I would definitely wear this like evening, evening type situation, not just walking around during the day. But it's it does. It has a little bit of an older, you know, give me a hug at church type smell to it. It's nice. It's nice. Um, I'm gonna put a little of this on my hand just so I can smell it a little later and see what's happening. But yeah, it smells nice. It does smell a little bit older lady at church, but like auntie. It had it smelled like auntie. Auntie vibes for sure. Okay, that's it. I need to find out where my other fragrance is from Ulta. But it's gonna be a pretty chilly chill day for me. I don't know. We'll see. I might get into something a little later. Okay, so I see here. The other fragrance I'm waiting for is my Prada Candy. That's the one that my girl DJ in her video just made me feel like I had to have. So that's the other fragrance that I'm waiting for. They shipped it separately, so it's not coming until next week. I can't wait to smell that, that Prada Candy. Y'all, I almost forgot. I have some other stuff that I got the other day from Juvia's Place. It was in my beauty room on my desk i got this which is the i live i love eye kit it has the eyeshadow palette and eye primer so this is the other palette that was part of the i live i love um you know little set that they came out with does it have you know that super duper light blue one that i showed you this is the other one that they came out with. This is, I love that turquoise and kind of like coral, dark coral situation. So it has their eye primer in here, which I don't think I like the eye primer. I'm pretty sure I already have their eye primer and I don't think I like it. So I don't like the fact that I had to buy this in a set because I think the palette itself was sold out. But I mean, I'll use it. Yeah, I already have their eyeshadow primer. And I think what I didn't like about their eyeshadow primer is the fact that you have to shake it up or else it's gonna come squirt out like super watery. And I never think to shake up my eyeshadow primer before I put it on my lid. You know, I use the P. Louise base. It comes out nice and thick and smooth every time. So I don't like having to remember to shake up my eyeshadow primer like that's weird to me but so as a result i never use it so that one i probably end up giving away but this is the palette oh it's pretty i love juvia's packaging oh my goodness it's so gorgeous oh that's pretty child this is a very specific eye look 
you're either going to use this as a complimentary palette with something else or honey you are gonna have a very specific eye look blue and coral it's pretty though it's pretty I definitely can do something with that so that was the other kit that I got now this palette I probably already showed this was because it came out with a set the Olori set which has these three palettes in it <laughs> but I had only I was only able to grab the first one because it came out with this one first so I probably already showed this in one of my vlogs beautiful beautiful turquoise and you know peachy coral i don't know i guess that's their theme right now this one is the olori 2 this one i really really wanted to have so this is what she looks like i mean obviously right ciao this right here mm. is that a shimmer yep yeah. oh and that's a sh oh it's a duochrome child because i'm looking at it and it's like it's like i don't know yeah y'all ain't gonna be able to see it when i look at it it's like it looked like this color but in the camera you know it has like that turquoise look to it child oh that's so pretty oh that's gorgeous i can't wait to use that and then this is the third one a lori three she's gorgeous and so this is what she looks like. So it's like they're really hard and heavy in this coral and turquoise kind of vibe I'm noticing right now. Let me put these together so y'all can see what I mean. It's like turquoise um, and coral like crazy. So this is what I mean. Like this could just be one big palette. These three palettes together here. You know, because they're so complimentary, you know? Like, you just sit down with these three palettes and do you a bomb coral and turquoise look. So, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. Because, child, these palettes are so... They're similar, but they're not, if that makes sense. So, anyways, got those and just wanted to share those with you guys because I forgot they were on my desk in my room.
good morning you guys so it's monday morning and i'm having a slow morning like seriously i got some sleep last night i hadn't been sleeping a lot for probably the past couple of weeks honestly i don't you know my body's going through changes um taking supplements and stuff to kind of help make sure I had get all my vitamins and you know get some energy and all that stuff and I hadn't been sleeping but it's like my what is it called your Arcadian Arcadian rhythm or something like that has been off so I've been like wide awake at night early morning in the entire during the day but I got some sleep last night I forced myself to go to bed so I got some sleep last night but I still got to you know kind of get me some energy this morning i'm having a strawberry and banana and kale smoothie this morning it's actually really good um i like to add kale in there to get some greens so i'll put my kale in the freezer because i'm one where it's like i'll plan out a week of okay I'm gonna you know buy all this smoothie stuff and have smoothies all week and then I'll have like two smoothies and I'll be ready to move on to something else <laughs> I mean that's just my personality whatever but I've always loved smoothies for years and years and years I've always loved smoothies and so I typically always have like frozen fruit yogurt and juice and stuff like that and with this, I added like some cran grape juice to it just to give it like that extra pop of flavor. And it's actually really good. So that's what I'm doing this morning for breakfast. I have a few things I need to do. I need to go to UPS, but um, Monday morning is usually not a good <laughs> time to go to the post office and UPS, especially not during this time of year. Um with people trying to get packages out and make deliveries and stuff like that. So I can wait. But yeah, I have a few things I need to do today. Whether or not I'll get to them, I don't know. I really, really want to do a vision board. I really want to do a vision board. So I told my friends I want to do a vision board and I want us to do it together, like on, you know, video chat or whatever since we all live so far apart stuff like that you know we kind of have to do through video but i've never done an actual vision board before um i over the years i've always kind of written down what i want what i want to achieve or accomplish or attain certain goals i want to reach always has something to do with weight loss and fitness um financial goals relationship goals growth in christ just different things like that so i've always written down specifics of things i want to do places i want to go if i want to you know visit certain type of places i'll write that down too but i've never actually done a vision board so I want to do a vision board and I'm really really excited to do it really excited to do it for 2022 and I want to do it with my friends so we were going back and forth because I had no idea on Amazon that you can actually buy a vision board kit no idea no clue I went on there because I was gonna get me a um, poster board and the different things that I need to create my vision board, tools and stuff like that, glue, whatever the case may be. And they have whole kits on there. And I was like, now that I can do, okay. Give me a kit, make it easy. I have all my pictures, my stickers, my little affirmative quotes and workbooks and what is it called? Like different whatever you know they have different like not lessons but you know different things you can do in the workbook anyway so yeah <laughs> i want to get one of those so i actually ordered one but we were going back and forth because my girl dj looking for something specific okay i'm thinking oh yeah we can all get the same one and just work on it together no she has to get her own 
create her own vision board child so but i ordered one it's supposed to come tomorrow so i'll show you guys what it looks like when it comes and i'm really excited to do it like i said i've always done lists written lists of things that i want to accomplish and goals i want to reach and it it honestly helps it really does and it's really cool to look back and be able to check off all the things that you've done and that you've accomplished that you actually wrote down and set out to do is actually very cool. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. <laughs> Yesterday, my husband was like, you ever plan on going back to the gym? <laughs> now, look, if I was a different type of woman and, you know, he was a different type of man, I might have been offended at that. But I just laugh because I know he's asking me like, um, you signed up for it. Yeah, paying for it every month. So, yeah. And I knew when I signed up for it that I'm not a gym chick at all. Not at all. I'm more of like a walk, hike, you know, neighborhood walk or workout room elliptical, you know, treadmill type of chick. That's the type of chick I am. Or I like to do like Zumba classes, aerobic classes. You know, I like to do little fun stuff like that. But, you know, I was like, I'm gonna try something different. And honestly, I really am. I'm, I'm gonna go back. But the real reason, not just me not wanting to work out because I actually do want to work out. But the real reason why I had stopped going to my personal trainer for a while is because I was getting kind of frustrated because they were giving me a different trainer. Every freaking time I went, it was with a different trainer and you know, they were rotating them too much. And I'm like, I kind of want to stick with one person, maybe two, so they can get familiar with me and I can get familiar with them, you know, and I can get used to the way that they train. Every single one of them does it differently. So I was getting kind of frustrated at that. And then even when I was able to get over that and I'm like, okay, whatever. I was trained with a different person every freaking time I go. Um, I started getting my sleeve done. And so the a lot of the workouts that they do, you know, that you're doing and stuff, it's a lot of arm work, doing stuff with machines, even doing stuff on the ground, you know, planks and stuff like that. And my arm was killing me from, you know, my sleeve being fresh. And so I was like, nah, I'm just gonna chill for a minute because I don't want to get any type of infection or anything in my arm, going to the gym and getting sweat and other people's, mm -mm. So I left it alone for a while, but now it's pretty much, you know, a good level of healed in order for me to go back. So I'm gonna go back. I know it's probably gonna be crazy, but get another year, everybody and their mom will be going, joining the gym. Um, but it's it's not a big deal. I wanna take some classes, you know, get back with my trainer and stuff. And, you know, I'm kind of excited about it. So, you know, now that I've already done it and went and kind of gotten used to it, that kind of nervous and anxiety about going to the gym and being around other people, it's like, it doesn't even bother me no more. So I'm excited about that. But anyway, I'm just sitting here yap, yap, yapping. I really wanted to do a declutter, okay? And I sat down to start to do one last night and I was looking through my blushes and it was like, maybe like three, four blushes that I actually would get rid of. I mean, I'm pretty happy with my collection where it is right now. I was looking at my highlighters. It was like, no, it's even less of them that I would get rid of. Maybe bronzers, maybe I can go through those, but yeah. And with palettes, I just decluttered a whole bunch of palettes and gave them to my daughter. So, I'm pretty good on palettes. The only palettes that might get decluttered or that would be next on the chopping block, quite honestly, would be my profusion because I I like to hold on to certain brands for comparison reasons and you know different types of videos that I like to do, but I really don't do those type of videos anymore and Profusion would be the last 
palettes that I would grab to use. I wouldn't even grab those anymore at this point because of how my collection is. If I wanted to use affordable brand palettes, most likely I'm going to reach for a ColourPop. I just am because I love ColourPop and they're very affordable. So I would reach for them before Profusion every time. So it's kind of sad because, you know, I've had a history with Profusion. But yeah, those are probably next on the chopping block, the few that I do have left. So, but other than that, I'm pretty happy with my collection right now. So I don't see myself doing a declutter anytime soon. But you never know. We'll see. Maybe foundations. Maybe foundations. I even looked at my foundations and I was like... It might be a handful that I want to get rid of. I don't know. So anyway, like I said, I'm just rambling at this point. I need, I really need to get, get my day started. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, you guys. So same day. It's still Monday. As you can see, I did put some makeup on. I did do a makeup look. So if you're curious about this look, look for it because it'll be coming soon to a YouTube near you. But anyway, <laughs> I'm actually sitting here. I need to switch my purse out. I still have my stuff in this cute little peach, you know, tote type purse. I got this off of Amazon actually. Very affordable, it's like 38 bucks or something. And they have like all kinds of different colors and designs and stuff. So yeah, but I still have my stuff in here from when I went to the holiday dinner. I want to just throw everything in my big coach bag because I'm kind of not in the mood to switch my purse a lot right now. So I want to use a bag that I can use like or wear with a lot of different stuff and this is a bag where I can throw all my stuff in here and I can wear it with, you know, jeans, dress, whatever I want to wear it with. So I think I'm just going to throw everything in here. I'm actually hoping that my Amazon delivery gets here um, before I'm done filming today because I ordered a new container for my like foundations I don't know after a while you guys I kind of get tired of seeing my makeup in the same place in the same holder doing the same thing I don't know I just I gotta switch stuff up every now and then Not, like I said I think that's just part of my personality because I get bored of stuff really quick really fast really easy but my foundations have been in that cute little um, lazy Susan type thing for quite a while and it's very nice because it's very useful easy to see what you need to see easy to find what you need to find to a certain extent because since I have so many foundations I do still have to dig and pull them out of the middle so I can see what's going on you know for my foundation so I kind of just want a different setup just a different type of look for them so I'm hoping that my um order will come because I think this blog is getting closed out today okay because that little haul the dossier haul for the fragrances and my little Ulta stuff that took a little longer than I wanted it to take so this haul or this vlog is going to be long anyway so oh you guys these things are so cute I don't know have you ever seen them it is for you to use when you go like out to eat or you go different places and you don't want to put your purse on the table or hang it on your chair or definitely not on the floor okay um that's what this is it's a purse holder so stinking cute I've used this a few times and it comes in so handy so you just put this part on the table on the edge of the table and you hang your purse on here and it because of the balance of it it holds your purse firmly does not does not move doesn't drop you know you can have a heavy purse a light purse it works perfectly I got these from Amazon too this one is cute it has like a little purple um, stone in there with the heart 
decoration. I have another one too, but I don't know. I think it's in my bedroom. But I keep these in my purse all the time because, you know, when you go to restaurants and stuff, you don't want to have to take up space on the table with your purse, you know? So that's why I try to keep one of those with me all the time. So yeah, I need to switch out my mask. I do, you know, like to switch out my mask fairly regularly so I can wash them. Cause yeah. Mm -mm. Especially when you wear them and you have makeup on, you get makeup all on the inside. It's it's not cute. <laughs> no matter how good your setting spray is, you still gonna get some makeup on your mask, you know, unless you got some shellac or something holding your makeup on. So, anyways, yeah. But I bought this um, little canister thing for my husband because he likes to save bacon grease you know to cook with for flavor and stuff and so i bought this cute little canister that i need to open up that it's like a white i don't know maybe like a country style canister and it says uh bacon grease on it and i thought it was so cute amazon know they be getting all my money honey because <laughs> i if it's anything that I want or I'm looking for, I'm going to Amazon first. That's just that's just the way it is. I'm going to Amazon first. But yeah, so just switching out my purse. This look, if you are curious, just as far as what palette I used, I did use the ABH, what is this called? Primrose. Okay, so I did use this for this look today, y'all. And I almost didn't buy this palette. I ain't gonna spoil it, but <laughs> I almost did not buy that palette. And I'm just like, girl, I'm so glad I did. So anyway, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish switching out my purse. And if there's anything else that I need to to chat with you guys about, I'll come back and chat. Okay, you guys, so I wanna open this little canister that I bought for hubby from Amazon enamel crafted grease bin <laughs> already looking at this box it's smaller than I thought it was okay a lot smaller but I guess it's just not that big of a deal because I mean how much bacon grease do you really really have <laughs> you know this is really cute oh this is cute it is this is cute I like it it doesn't take up too much space Let's see if I can okay nice suction on the cap and it has a little drainer in there I won't take it out I'll let him take it out but see the little drainer in there for the little bacon bits cute so hopefully he likes it if he didn't already see on amazon that i bought it for him you know we use the same account but hopefully he likes it i think it's cute okay y'all i'm out here in these streets okay i am actually headed to the office to see about getting some dinner with hubby i'm hungry and I kind of want some pasta, so <laughs> I'm coming up here to see if uh, we can go get some dinner. But I'm bringing his little grease, little grease canister with me since you know it's to go in the studio. Y'all can't see me. Sorry, it's nighttime. If it's any consolation, I can't really see either. <laughs> That's why I don't drive at night. My night vision is horrible. I ain't got no business on the streets at night, okay? But I like to drive around this time of year, kind of see little Christmas lights and everything. Even though I ain't got none outside on my house, I like to see everybody else's. So, yeah, I'm about to roll up here, meet up with hubby, see what he doing, and also try and give me some pasta because your girl can go for some like Cajun pasta or some 
chicken and shrimp fettuccine alfredo something you know <laughs> so i'm gonna pull up here and see what's happening Wait, baby, I got something for you. Come get it. I want to see if you like it. So uh, the people can see if you like it. Don't y'all figure it out. It ain't no cologne. They can't see you. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. You know you what I like do? It? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, you want to know how you know I'm going to like it? Because when you see this in my video. I can't have it. You really? I, mean? there's, there's I ain't got no light to oh, yeah, Sorry. They already saw it. Oh, they, <laughs> <laughs> they, they already saw it. I got the lights off. Shut my office down. Okay, you can do that, but take that inside. Oh, yeah. He liked it, y'all. <laughs> As y'all saw, I didn't get no pasta. Maybe next time. So I ordered these earrings from Amazon. I thought they were so cute. I wanted some, something to kind of like go up my ear a bit. And so I found these. I don't know if you can really see them well, but it's like they, um, they have the post. So they have a post and then they go up the ear like this so i'm gonna put them on and see how they look in my ear yeah okay that's cute i mean with these long twists though can't nobody see that when i tell you that i put those the second and third hole in my ear when i was like in high school with a hot safety pin. I burned that safety pin stuck through my ear. I didn't have them holes <laughs> in my ears for the longest. And I put them in there myself. I know, crazy. So yeah, these are cute. If you like them, I'll link them down in the um, description box. But I did get the new containers for my foundations i'm not gonna switch them over i don't think in this vlog because this vlog is getting long so i will switch them over in the next vlog mm -hmm. 